everybody, and welcome back to Falcon Plays RimWorld. How's everybody doing today? Everybody's good? Everybody's fine? Everybody's watching some RimWorld? Alright, get to go. Let's get the game going on. I'm doing good. I'm broke as hell, though. Why? Well, that's easy to explain. Uh, fucking Steam Summer Sale, that's why. You know what's weird about the Steam Sale? I'm pretty sure we ever, everybody does it. By the way, this, uh, before I go on the Steam Sale, this again, cut off, like, you know, it stopped, you know, having people mine by itself, so these rooms are Look, it did it right there, right in front of us. I don't understand what that's all about. So what I did momentarily is put some sleeping beds again in the power room, just because, um, you know, it's gonna take me a while before I can mine this out fucking properly, because the game keeps telling me no, it doesn't want to mine anymore, and I'm like, you know what, game? I'm the boss of you, you're not the boss of me, let me fucking mine. So, let's forward the game here. Um, while this happens, I have to keep an eye on this, unfortunately, so... We're gonna ignore what's happening up up front. I'm gonna have to hang out here and make sure this gets mined out. So, uh, in the process of that, so it's not too boring, while we're just over here staring at this shit, I'm gonna give you talk- I'm gonna talk to you guys about the Steam sale here. Because, uh, it's going on right now. By the time this comes out, maybe it's gonna almost start wrapping up really soon. I'm not sure, I'm terrible with dates, but I could only assume by the time this video comes out, it's almost gonna be either ending or just about ending. What I wanted to talk about it was that, um, I mean, obviously, assuming you guys are like big PC players, like, uh, you know, I would say like myself, but that's not the case. I play a lot of PC games now, but I don't necessarily consider myself a PC gamer because it took me so long and I'm still more comfortable playing games on, you know, consoles and shit like that. I just need that control in my hand because, god damn it! Why does this happen? It's so fucking irritating. If anybody knows why this is happening, please let me know because otherwise it's just fucking irritating the shit out of me at this point. Um, yeah, so. I just, I'm so used to having a controller in my hands, that's why, even though I play a lot of PC games now, I just feel that I'm still gonna be a console gamer regardless of, you know, how long I play PC games now, that's the case. But either way, um, that's besides the point. Um, ever since I got introduced to, like, you know, PC gaming, like, you know, basically around the time this channel started, to be honest with you. God fucking damn it! I feel like this conversation is gonna go nowhere if this keeps happening over and over. Ugh, see, the thing is, I need these things done now because obviously we need them for our rooms for all the people that we're gonna recruit and you know all the additions that we just recently got it's you know being a pain in my dick right now so I apologize if I'm over here stopping this guys over and over as you can see it's kind of beyond my control if anybody knows how to fix this let me know it's just irritating at this point going back to what I was trying to say though I think that um, the summer sales are just steam sales in general ever since I you know got into PC gaming and I got steam like you know sometime last year I find myself, whenever uh, sales come about, I'm like excited, I'm like, oh sweet, deals, you know, and you know, everybody loves deals, right? We all love deals, right? Everybody loves to pay, you know, a little significant amount for something that usually costs so much money, right? Here's the thing though, and I want this, I, this is a question to all of you guys, and I'm sure that I know the answer already more than likely, but I just want to hear from the horses, oh, fucking, I want to hear it from the fucking miners amount apparently, or the games amount, game storyteller, fucking me over somehow. Um, I want to hear from the horse's mouth though because I think we all do this and that is can you guys honestly give me like a percent based on how many games you have on Steam? How many games do you actually play that you have on Steam that you've bought? Or not bought, that's not even a fucking word. But that you actually bought. Like give me a, a percent here. I can tell you right now I believe since I haven't been you know you know, I haven't had Steam so long, but, you know, I still have a few games here because of, you know, developer press copies and things that I've covered and, you know, stuff that I've actually bought with my own money as well. I have probably, I want to say, close to... <laughs> You're really fucking grinding my gears now, RimWorld. I'm going to say that I have about, I think a good estimate is probably 70 games, which probably isn't that much when it comes to Steam, but let's say I have like 70 games or something, right? You know, I have 70 games, but a fucking RimWorld problem isn't one of them. Or, actually, it is probably one of them now, even though I... Oh, are you kidding me? Why? Why don't you let me mine anymore? I don't get it. What's going on here? Who's behind this fucking catastrophe that doesn't let me mine? God fucking damn it. Alrighty, here's what we're gonna do. Um, put this set up like this, right? This is really irritating the shit out of me. It's gonna really make it really difficult for me to continue recording this if it, keeps, if it keeps doing this. Like, I need to be able to set up a mining project and leave and do something else. RimWorld's all about multitasking. If it doesn't let me do it, then it just puts me in a really tough spot here. Ah, oh, what is it about me that you suddenly hate so much, RimWorld? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna... Um... 
militarize everybody and then unmilitarize them so they could come back and focus on the mining before it, you know, deletes itself again. I, I did really bad here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so irritated that I didn't realize this. Um, so, let's say I have 70 games. I can honestly tell you of those 70 games, I have probably played a few of them. Like, I have started them up and it's kind of like, oh, this is cool, and then I never play them. Let's talk about significant amount of time that you've played in games, though. Of all the games that you own, why is uh, the game slowing down now? Oh, fires. Okay. Well, you know what? It's not a fire inside. The fire still burns inside. Let's forget about that. And let's just focus on what's happening out here. Did I not sell these power shells to the dude? Oh, I thought I did? Huh. That's interesting. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not sell them to him? I could have sworn I did. Alrighty, maybe I'm just tripping balls. Never mind. Okay, whatever. We, we're caring about the mining right now, not who's selling what to what, anybody. Of those games that you've bought, and how many have you actually, like, you know, spent a significant amount of time in? Like, not just started up and it's kind of like, oh, this is cool, and then you never play it again. I can honestly tell you, of the 70 or so games that I have on Steam, I have probably played the games that I cover for my series on YouTube, obviously. Uh, let's say Neil Scavenger, Xenonauts, um... I started doing Magicite recently, so let's add Magicite to the list now. Actually, you know what? Let me ignore the games that I do for YouTube. How about games for my own enjoyment? Not that I don't enjoy these games, but you know what I'm talking about. Non-series games. I have probably played those games, maybe seven or eight of them, seriously. Of like 70-something games. And that's a ridiculous, like, turnaround. Because, like, I know that... I'm not saying that I'm the, the exception over here. I know that everybody does this. God fucking damn it. I know that we all do this, uh, and I think I know why, too, because you see a game on sale, right? And even though it's a game that probably you're not too interested in, when you see it for, like, a dollar, or two dollars, or three dollars, or when you see that it's, like, 90% off of its regular price, you're kind of like, well, I'd be a fool not to buy this, right? And then, you know, you buy it just thinking, I'm saving money. This is a good deal for me because I'm saving money. In reality, you're not saving money. You're, you're basically spending... Sure, you're spending a little shitty amount, but you're still spending a shitty amount for a game that... <laughs> oh. Fucking gods of the world pissing me off right now. You're still spending a, an amount of money that even though it's like a low amount, you're still spending on something you... God, fucking... Oh. <laughs> this is not a rage through, by the way, game. I'm not gonna rage. I'm not going to give the people what they want probably here to just to laugh. I'm not going to, you know, over here pull my hair and suddenly turn the face cam on and be angry and like be yelling at the screen. It's not a rage through, all right? The game is making me want to do a rage through now, but it's not supposed to be a rage through. I assure you, I don't do rage throughs. I am not 12 years old. Not that I'm saying that, you know. Rage throughs will only be like, you know, a thing for little kids. That's not what I'm saying. Oh. 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 It's cool, Falcon. Just breed. Just breed, man. It's all good. It's just a game trying to mess with you. It knows that you're doing so good. It knows that raiders can't stop you. So what does it do? Now it's breaking the game on you. That's the only way it's going to defeat you. Don't let it defeat you, Falcon. Alrighty? Let's just go into a fucking zen state here. Alright, you fucking dickbags. Let me... I'm sorry, you guys aren't the problem here. I'm not sure why I'm taking it out of my colonists suddenly. They're not the problem. Well, I mean, they're probably the problem. If they would hurry up, this wouldn't be an issue right now, would it? Okay, let's breed. And let it out. So, you're thinking, you know, I'm gonna buy this game. It's like, you know, $3, whatever. Um, and you buy it, and then you, it's just, it just hangs out there in your, in your Steam library. You never fucking play it. You always kind of scroll through your games, and you know what you're gonna play. We have a few recruits, maybe? A new area's been revealed. Where is that at? Down over here? Okay, that's fine. And we have some visitors, I don't give a shit. This might actually be done right now, finally, which is fucking like, it's taken like half an episode probably to actually just mine this out. But that's okay. That's okay. At least it's happening. Let's do this while we're at it here as well. God damn it, there's so much metal here that I actually do need, so let's do this and this. I'm gonna break some of these rooms momentarily. Actually, can I afford that considering? Yeah, I guess I can afford it for now. Um. So basically, you go through this whole process where you're buying all these games for, like, low value, and you never play them. And I think it's just funny because, you know, uh, ever since I started, you know, playing PC games almost regularly, I keep noticing that trend in me where I'm just kind of like, why am I buying this when I know I'm not going to play it? And they're good games. I'm not saying they're bad games. I mean, some of them are good. Sometimes you buy, like, a game just because it's, like, 25 cents, and you're like, well, why not? It's a game. And you never play it because it's probably terrible, and that's sometimes the case. I understand that. 
But the majority of the times, even though they're good games, you just never play them. And, you know, it's really funny. Um, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to re, uh, introduce the people that I renamed last episode. And I apologize for that. The reason I didn't do it is because, number one, the mining process over here has just been fucking kicking my dick this whole episode. Um, here we have Shandy. That was one of the people that we bought and we renamed. And I think we have two more people. I just don't know where the fuck they're at now. I'm just gonna wait till they come to sleep, though, and then we'll introduce them. Right? Where is those people at? Um... Oh, okay, we have Alex DeLarge. He was also recruited. And Nick B417. So, Alex DeLarge, Nick B417, and Shandy. Welcome aboard, my friends. You guys are, have some of the empty rooms over here, which is fine. Understandable. Although, one of them is actually a really good fighter, if I remember correctly. So, I gotta give him a weapon soon. Uh, at least everything's being cleaned out inside, which is good. Now, uh, metal, we're still doing good after building just about everything we needed built. Overall, I think we're looking really quite good. And I guess what happens with the lights is that they turn red at nighttime? Is that how it works out? And then in daytime, it's like, you know, white? Yeah. See, now they just turn white. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do the lit metal walls, as a matter of fact. That's actually a really good amount. So in reality, here's my question. I don't have to put up a whole wall of this, right, obviously, because uh, apparently one wall lights up quite a bit. You just have to put at least one in an area to kind of light it up. Interesting. I, I like that idea. That's really good. Okay. So, say I was to put another metal, like another one of these walls over here, it would work out pretty fine, huh? Interesting. Alrighty. So, you know what? Is this almost done? The mining process here? I hope so. Let's do mining. We need one more room over here at the very least for now. And that'll keep me content. And hopefully unagitated now. So, we'll mine this out. And that, they, that stays right there. Oh, <laughs> come on, game. We're we're so close to being done with this mining process. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mine for a while after this, by the way. Not until I can figure out what's going on, or uh, B, I have to really mine because this is really super agitating right now. I'm pretty sure it's agitating for you guys to watch. Do so I apologize? I have no control over it. If I did, believe me, I wouldn't be over here annoying the piss out of myself and most of you guys as well. I have to watch this right now. So come on, just finish finish the mining process of that room, please. God damn it, that's all I want. You know, I don't ask for much, guys. I just want this to be mined out already. Mine this portion out over here, too. Come on, you're almost fucking done. I can almost taste it. No! No! Oh, God, why do you hate me so much, God? All right, let's try this again. Hey, the guys don't run off. Boom, boom. There you go. Wait a minute, I forgot to rename this person. Maskinen, okay. Next episode, that person will be renamed too. Apologies for that, that's another person off the list I could have uh, removed and... Unfortunately, I forgot that I got this person that just joined the colony. The people that joined the colony itself, like, those are the people I tend to forget just because, you know, I didn't buy them. Uh, not really making that much of an effort to remember them after an episode. We have one more block to mine, please mine it. Please somebody fucking mine it. Yeah, I... Rakaza? Rakaza, please do it. Yes, <laughs> alright. Fuck, that took forever. You know what? We're not even done. We still have to mine the, you know, this area, the industry area. God damn it, we have so much to do in mine, and, you know, the game doesn't want to mine anymore. And these laser drills don't ever finish, too. What the fuck is the problem here? I feel like the game's just, like, you know, out to, you know, annoy the hell out of me today. Okay. So, let's think of this, um... Let's, um, even though it's hard to do, let's, um, that's what she said. Let me mine here for now and I'm gonna hang out here because I have to set up the metal walls anyway so if they if this does get like you know busted we could just add the mining process in itself so let's see here what do I want to do here metal walls gonna go through there so how about we do um ba -ba -ba, my Sharona let's do a deconstruct of this guy we're not gonna use the planks anymore for this we're gonna go metal wall instead and let's see metal wall across through here and then if I add like one of the lit walls. I think over here will probably light this area pretty goddamn good. And then we'll do this, and we'll do this. And then we could, uh, might as well deconstruct the majority of this over here. I think we could do that without causing that much of an issue for us. So, you know, right now they're actually mining, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in real time, just because at the very least it's not, like, breaking the mining system, and it's not ruining something that's actually working out for us right now. And we'll do metal walls through here. This will be the door, obviously, so we don't we want to leave that alone. And then, as soon as this is done, I want to put another metal, like another one of the lit walls over here. 
so. There we go. That's being lit up. Excellent. And now, I suppose we could also start ordering some mining to be done right about through here. I don't think that this should cave in on us. I don't think it's a big enough uh, partition for it to cave in. So we're going to keep that in mind. Of course, uh, you know, famous last words by Falcon. It's not going to happen, guys. The next thing you know, we get crushed over here. And we're going to obviously need some... Do we need doors for the inside? I don't think we necessarily do. We don't need doors right now. We don't need fucking doors. We're all fucking neighbors here. We all live together. We don't need doors for our industry area. So we'll just leave it like that for now. I mean, I could add like a door, but you know, it's like a waste of 75 metal in reality. I mean, we don't really need it. <laughs> what if we had a wooden fence? A fence made of planks, strong and very fast to build, but flammable and consumes a lot of planks. Can we open these? No, we could open the fence gate, right? A fence gate must be manually open and closed, which slows people down. I don't want to slow my people down, though. No, let's leave it like that, right? Let's just leave the doors open. I think that'll work out pretty good anyway. Okay, so the mining is still happening right over here, which is impressive, thankfully. It hasn't, you know, broken on me just yet. Okay. What's up with these guys? I don't want to fucking join, by the way. Look at this. Look at these guys so stubborn. I, in reality, I guess they don't want to join because they have to work otherwise. Why would they want to join? They have like a nice prison here where they people bring them meals, they have nice beds, they have like fucking wooden, you know, walls around them. They're like in a cottage over here. It's not a prison, that's just a fucking vacation home in reality. Alrighty, most of our rooms have been cleaned out, and you know what we should be doing? While we add more people, or when we soon add people, assuming those people won't even want to join us at this point, is actually add a few more beds over here. And soon enough, we also have to start thinking about, um, what is it? We now have to start thinking about, um, moving rooms around one more time. But not just yet. For now, let's actually just get the rooms built. And then we'll think about the room maneuvering after that. So we'll do that right there. And I suppose we should probably put up some stone walls, even though we're running pretty low on stone right now. So we'll do that right there, and then... Oh, this has to be mined out, by the way. Do this. And then this. And that'll pretty much just about cover most of our grounds here. And at the very least, how's our wooden plank situation? It's still not bad. So we could put wooden doors through all this. And we'll probably add some power conduits to line up some walls really soon with some light. I am a fucking imbecile. Don't close this fucking room off, Falcon, you idiot. And we'll do a wooden door here, here, and here. And that should basically just about cover all that. And just for the gist of it, might as well add the blue flooring to this area as well. Okay, that takes care of most of that. And then the bottom, we could probably do some green tiles, I would imagine. So we'll do this through here. Okay, excellent, excellent. And see, the mining organ gave up in itself. No surprise there. This game, man, it's just gonna fucking piss me off so much. For some reason, I've, I've always run RimWorld so nicely. This is like the first time I've ever had an issue with it, and it's not even a big issue, but it's just more annoying than any. It's like an inconvenience in reality. Alrighty, and, uh, ba -ba. Mind this out right here, too. Okay, so that's also lit up now. So as you can see, this will be pretty good. This will be, we don't have any, we don't need any lights in here. The metal light, the metal wall lights would basically take care of this whole situation, which I'm really happy for. And I suppose we could also probably deconstruct this now. This and this, we don't need that anymore. Flower time a little bit. Did the mining thing go off again? God, damn it. It does it so fast, I don't even notice it happening. All right. That's taken care of, and we'll basically set up a metal door here, there, and there. Okay. And now, what's the first thing we need to take care of? Well, we could either do... Now, here's a wild idea. Would it be cool if I set up the industry area, like, based, like, if I align the walls based on what we do here? Like, say, since this is metal walls, we'll do, like, smelting. We'll make this wooden walls, and then we'll do, like, the wood stuff here. And then we'll make, like, one of stone, and we'll do stones, and then, like, a miscellaneous one. Would that be cool? I mean, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just thinking outside of the box for once, though. I don't think that's a bad idea. I honestly don't think it's a bad idea. So, over here, we'll do metal stuff. So... Meanwhile, these people over here mine around, or stop mining soon. Let's go into furniture and actually start setting up this area here. And what do we want here? Well, we want some a proper way to present food. Well, that's going to be the kitchen, so that's not just, uh, needed just yet. Plant storage. Storage for plants. Uh, butcher storage. Storage for corpses. Huh. Storage for meats. Interesting. Alrighty. There's a lot of things we can mess around with here. 
A worker's table equipped to modify and make minor components. Um, I think this is for the spool wires, but since we don't use spool wires anymore, we don't need that. Huh. So where's our production? Here we go, production. So for this one, we're going to need... What is it here? Oh, there's a, one of the... Oh, I think I already knew that was there. Kitchen, cooking, workplace. Sorry, right, so we're going to move the workplace down over here. I guess we'll do metal stuff, wood stuff. Um, you know, this room is a lot smaller compared to this one. I kind of messed this up. I totally did mess this up. Like, this should have been mined in a bit more, actually. God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably deconstruct this and then move this a bit forward, just so I can keep it, like, you know, parallel to each other. I can't have one room bigger and bigger than the other one, man. It's not gonna, it's not gonna leave my OCD alone. So, metal. Where's my metal shit, man? Am I just missing it? Am I this much of a goddamn imbecile now? Am I really missing this? This is kind of ridiculous at this point. There, here they are. Uh, for some reason, I'm looking for a table that says metal, even though it's not gonna say metal. Alrighty, workplace blacksmith. Uh, okay, so that's what we need here. So for this one, I guess we could do, like, um, have one in a corner, you know, give them their own little corner right there. Um, since you guys are almost done mining that area, do me a favor and start working on... Fuck, I guess deconstructing this, right? But then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. With this, um, I, like, I feel this is a good, like, thing without actually crushing us in. Hmm. Because this is my hallway. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, the walls should technically go here. But it does seem that we could build this a bit further without causing a cave-in. Let's actually just keep an eye on these guys really quickly. If they don't die, <laughs> these guys are VR guinea pigs. If they don't die, obviously our rooms could be a little bit more... Um, bigger than we thought they could be. So we'll do that and that. These guys will be our guinea pigs, essentially. Pyro's gonna be our guinea pig. It's like, yeah, Falcon, I got it, don't worry. Okay, so yeah, they can be a lot bigger. Significantly bigger, as a matter of fact. Yeah, alrighty. So yeah, we will instead actually break this down and mine this a little bit more so we have two rooms, or most of the rooms are equal size, because otherwise I, I can't live with it not being the same size, you know. So let's call it an episode here, guys. I apologize for how slow this kind of was. Unfortunately, this whole mining thing is really a pain in the ass, and it's kind of been slowing down my process for today, unfortunately. Hopefully, it doesn't keep up. I'm liking everything's coming in, though. I can't believe these laser drills are still not done. It's really fucking perplexing to me. Either way, guys, I'll catch you next time.